All right, so the first thing I do, I'm just going to show quickly how to how I like set my comment pages and sketch them out. And so the first thing I do is I set up all my text. Um, so I have you know I have I have the story all pre-written and stuff. So I just convert it to comic book, um, you know, cutting some stuff out of the novel that is unnecessary and stuff. Once I have all my text in there, what I do is I highlight all of it, left-clicking the top text, and then scrolling down, holding down the shift key, and then left-clicking the bottom text. I click on this little icon here, and I choose. No, actually, I don't do that. I go to layer, and I choose to group layers. So now I have all my text in group layers, and I can easily get it, and then it's grouped. Then I make another layer above this temporary sketch layer. I usually don't start sketching until after I have the text laid out, but I wanted to sketch that because it's fresh in my head. Then I make this a certain color, like let's say green. And this is what I use for the bubbles. Sometimes I need more than one if I want people interrupting each other and bubbles overlapping. I choose the round here in the shapes tool. I choose the round rectangle tool up here. I make sure I have this icon set, which turns it immediate to uh, pixels. That is, it fills it with pixels with, with whatever color I have. So I'm going to choose white. And then I go to layer and uh, layer style and stroke. And I set it to one in black. And I zoom in. And begin to put bubbles around the text, like so. Once I have all the bubbles around the text, and then, you know, if I need square ones, I choose this square one in a different color for thoughts. Like so. Then I grab this tool here, the polygon lasso tool, and then I point to who is talking. And I grab the paintbrush and I grab a big brush and I just fill oops that's really big. <laughs> I just fill it in with white, deselect and go to the next one. And so now she's gonna be talking like so. And then actually to show he's talking I can probably just do this. And because because that comes between, you know, you have to read this, this, and then this. And then to show she's talking again, I'll just do this. And that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna do the rest I'm gonna do that for the rest of the page. Okay, and actually before continuing uh doing the the bubbles, I have to continue the rough sketch. So I'm gonna go back to my rough sketch. I usually sketch in blue or red. And let's see, actually also I need to Add a few more lines, like one here. Hold down the shift key to make a straight line. Like you, you begin to draw, then hold down the shift key. Or you can hold down the shift key ahead of time, then then draw. That's actually better. And that's an easy way to make straight lines if you need to. Right, so I just, you know, kind of imagine the scene in my head as it plays out. So I, I read through it a few times. I imagine how the scene's going to play out. And then I begin to think about how I can represent that on the page. And then I do rough sketches of it. Of what, of what I see in my mind. So I'm thinking um, in this page, because, you know, he's like, oh, he seems to agree, referring to the little creature. The little creature can be in in screen somewhere. And Usually I just, when I do the quick sketch of the creature, I just do really basic shapes like this. And uh, so he's like that, and I'm thinking maybe there can be a hand. This will be Cloud's hand and stun will be over that way, and then his fingers kind of just do the like that, you know. Because I this is the grouping of his fingers, that's his hand. Usually it's about the same length, maybe it can be about there. Part of his thumb would go off, disappear, and I'm thinking he'll be like, uh, like a head here, and then kind of do the arc and I'm thinking he might be a little bit of the back but more of a side view here maybe a little bit of that shoulder over there not much of it will be seen though so about equal length of the head one, two, three lines and that's about somewhere in here where you'd have the butt Maybe he has his leg out here more because he's kind of 
on his knees or something maybe I just kind of cut part of that off but so a lot of times you want to actually draw through the panel just and then you can erase let's grab a bigger eraser here I might end up changing that but you know I just need something there or a sketch where I can begin to look at it and see what I like and don't like and then she gets mad and knocks him over so I might just see part of her head maybe like a side view and then her shoulder will be over here and then part of her arm comes through wow and then she maybe have the motion lines she just swung her hand actually I should have her motion lines coming this way and then show him knocked over Actually, you know, that's not as, um, I'm going to get rid of that. That's not as, maybe just have part of her breast showing as well. And I'll have this shoulder over here and have this arm coming toward us. So it might get bigger, even going off screen, and then have the motion lines going like that. Thin to, thin to thin to thick so you know it came from over there to over here and then show him and his feet and his head's going to be back and his mouth's going to be open and then his ear going to be it's going to be down like this and I'll do little things like that to show that his feet are waggling notice in the sketching stages I just do a quick hand just so I know what they're doing before I remember that's enough for me to to go on and then here um might even have his other hand under this hand you can see part of the forearm over there like that so he's like he just helped him up so he's holding him and since I'm viewing him from kind of the top you can see that his shoulders you know his shoulders will go in into his head instead of below his head and you know the collarbones would kind of come up like that so you'd see part of those back neck muscles and stuff right so let's see here then Just like a close-up headshot. She's going to be kind of looking over that way just a little bit. So like a three-fourths view. So I just do a quick thing like that for I remember. And if, it, <clears throat> if there's any gestures like that are important I don't want to forget, I'll draw them in. Like So for example, uh, when she's feeling certain emotions, her ears kind of go down. So I kind of want her ears kind of coming down like that. I don't know if you guys have noticed that yet, but when Skyla has certain emotions, her ears droop. They kind of go down. Like when she feels sad or ashamed and stuff. And be a close up of his, of his head now. And I'm going to kind of make them look like they're looking at each other, even though they're, there are two different panels. A certain emotion on their face I don't want to forget I'll uh, I'll do that too like maybe she's just a little bit sad there not really but that kind of face and then here she gets, she gets kind of angry another close up of her face now her emotions kind of change and her, her ears almost kind of come up a little bit So that's just for I remember, and I don't need to draw anything else.
notice I don't bother like going into details at this stage. It's just quick lay down of form and stuff. I don't forget basically. And then here he's gonna be he's starting to take off his shirt. So it'll be kind of a just top view of him. And let's see, um All I have to do is put the hand first. Sometimes placing the hand where you know it's going to be is the easiest thing to do. And then kind of he's pinching the fabric here between his thumb and one of his fingers. So I just kind of draw the grouping of the fingers and stuff. And his shirt's going to be coming like that. Maybe some wrinkles. This arm might just be kind of like he's getting ready, ready to grab the other part, maybe or something. No, that's not right. Again, I'm going to draw his other hand, so his other hand will be here, getting ready to grab this part of the shirt. shortening there that might work so his arms coming out at us maybe you can see the elbow and let's see um, this one's gonna be coming out like that and then that should work and again I think it's the elbow so something like that and the shirt's really gonna be it's hiked up a little bit and then you'd see part of his belly button and stuff and then love handles and his pants so there I'd right, say so he's beginning to take his shirt off I might even do a different angle the angle is kind of boring so I might come up looking up a little bit or looking down a little bit and, may and maybe turn him a little bit too I don't know yet So he's going to be pulling his pants down. His shirt's off already. And he has his long hair. I'm going into too much detail. You didn't ever do this much detail, but whatever. Because he's in the foreground, he needs to be much bigger. There we go. And so that's how I lay out my page, and then I'll, you know, start tighten up the sketching on another layer, and then finally go in and ink. Sometimes I can ink right off of this, but it just depends on how much more detail I need to add. Another thing, too, if, I, if she's wearing a backpack at this stage, I try to remember that she's wearing her backpack, and I'll do little hints. And right now she's not, her backpack is on her side, but if she was, I'd go and follow little straps just to remember that I need to draw them, because sometimes I forget that she's wearing her backpack. And there is a few pages where I, I, no one mentioned it, but I did forget to draw the backpack where it should have been. But anyway, I'll go back and fix those later. Some of the pages I have already fixed, so thank you for watching.